my wife always says, if it's better than what it was, that's all that matters. Continuing on with this project, keep in mind we're not professionals. I wouldn't even say we're amateurs. We're just making making the car make us happy. If we're satisfied, that's really all that matters. When you work on your car, that's the most important person is you, that you understand it and makes you happy. Anyways, we're gonna continue with this floor and get it prepped, ready so we can lay new carpet. We'll get started. First thing we're gonna do is just take this rag and wipe the floor down with acetone. It removes grease and wax. Think anybody ever waxed this floor before they put the carpet in from the factory? This is really simple. I'm just gonna go like this, get this wet. Just there's there's really not a whole lot of science to this part of it. I mean it's pretty hard to mess this up, actually. And it's actually okay just to do it that way, too. Now, if you're wondering what I'm going to do about these pinholes on this side and that one hole over there, we're going to we're going to cover them now. I got some JB Quick Weld. I'm just going to put it over there. It sets up in six minutes and it's cured in four to six hours. So I'll show you how that works. And that right there is the pinhole. You can see it's. We're going to cover that up on the passenger side and that up. That's all we have on the passenger side. And we just go like this, put in some in there. Take our little stirring stick, mix the hardener in with the steel. Could mix it up on a cardboard and put it in, but I'm fine with this. That's what we ended up with. That should work, huh? We'll let that set up. I'll go over there and do the driver's side a little bit. And we got here one hole about the size of a ovaled out quarter. And we had two holes here about the size of a pencil. And I just used some gray RTV to fill in them pencil size holes real quick. And I'll show you why I just did that. It's just to keep the moisture and stuff out. And then I went around that hole there. And now I got this little rectangle here piece of sheet metal. I'm just going to put that on top of there like that. RTV will work like a like a sealer. And then I'm just going to mix up a a nice portion of this. And this time I'm not going to let it be runny. I'm going to let it thicken up just a little bit and I'll show you why. I'm giving that RTV just a little bit of time there to settle up. Then we'll just take all of this and just scoop it right on side the, that tin. And that's what it looks like. You can see the size of that turn it out to be compared to my hand, but 
that little hole is covered up that quarter size hole I'm gonna call it and I made it look a lot worse than it is but when that all dries settles up then we'll put the pour 15 right on top of it there that that looks all professional now that we got the floors hopefully free of contaminants such as grease or oils now the fun part we get to put pour 15 down I like painting floorboards carpets gonna cover up all the mistakes I do I can go this way this way and isn't gonna make any difference this pour 15 isn't cheap it's about between 60 and 65 dollars a quart but it's the right stuff to use for what we're doing and now it's time for the fun part we get to slop some paint around And again, it's not overly scientific on this, just a matter of slopping it around till it's all covered. I try to get it a little extra thick on the floorboards just for extra protection. You know, if a guy doesn't like the job you're doing, just tell him to come back in a couple of days and see what he thinks. All he'll be seeing is the carpet. He won't be seeing what you did, so probably ain't gonna matter anyway. It really didn't take a long time or much paint to do this. I put it on nice and thick at the bottom of the floors and kind of just covered up some of it. I'm not gonna do the trans or the drive shaft tunnel. It's just, I don't see the purpose in it, but show you. That's what it looks like. And we just gotta do the other side now and let it dry. You see any blue besides the top of the drive shaft tunnel and trans tunnel? It's just a reflection. I used a half a quart on this. Got a half a can left, but I really put it thick on the floorboards. Yeah, there you have it. We gotta let this dry real good, and I'd say we're set for carpet. I, I think it looks great. This is the carpet that I ordered a while back, and it came in. It's made in USA. I've never taken it out of the box. I just opened it up to make sure it was the right color. We're going to take it out now and see how it kind of fits inside there. Never know. I am tempted just to peel this off. This is the stuff that gets wet and causes rust. Just be prepared if you order carpet. At least the ones I've dealt with, they come oversized. You gotta take a scissors or something and cut them down to the size and they're not just gonna drop in and be a perfect fit just like, you know, like you'd think. No, you gotta, you gotta do some trimming. How's that look? We got it? I pulled a lot or most of this out from underneath of it. I just don't like that stuff. If somehow it gets a little wet, you can't dry it out. I gotta say, ACC, is that what it's called? Auto Custom Carpets. It was all right, it's all right. I'm not a professional installer by any means. And uh, I kind of think the carpet could have fit a little better, but we'll take, a, we'll take a gawk at it. So this is the overview of it, what it looks like. And uh, it turned out pretty good. I mean, considering what, what it was at the beginning, it's a, it's a nice improvement, at least we think. Um, obviously, the, the seat is intended to be here, but 
you can look and uh, it's around the dimmer switch and up around the pedals come up over to this side and but it's kind of baggy into this area the tunnel is kind of bigger than it needed to be and and you can see what it looks like back here with the seat belts and the and the back seat in well guys it's as good as it's gonna get we're happy with it if it makes us happy it's that's really the only thing that matters we do got a dilemma and I'm gonna explain it to you um, called some upholstery shops they're nice and willing to do it if I can wait till 2027 so we're talking about it we got to make a decision what we're gonna do but the seat won't be in there whatever we decide it ain't gonna happen today so this will put the change and challenge duster a little bit on hold until things work out we'll update you when I have an update until then sure appreciate you watching and but you know what <laughs> I just had a bug go up my nose <laughs> okay that's not over what are you supposed to do go up after it <laughs>